for giving me the opportunity to talk. Mr. Daniel Hazard to the stage. Corporate VP Sales and Marketing Ratana Hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Daniel Hazard. Uh, I, would not, I would not take too much of your time by uh, thanking again our colleagues in Al-Bustan for what they did tonight. Again, Omar and your team, thank you very much for what you have done. It's always a surprise when we come to Al-Bustan because you always exceed our expectation and you always make it better. Thank you. I recall when Sam called me a couple of days ago to ask me to, to come and make a speech tonight. So the, I had two questions for him. I said, first, what's the subject you want me to talk about? He said, well, why don't you talk about loyalty programs? I said, fine. And then I asked him, how long do I have on stage to speak? Then I have realized to whom I have to speak tonight, to colleagues in the field, to experts. Most of you are far more familiar in loyalty than I am, so I started to think, what the hell am I going to speak to you about? Looking at the screen earlier on this evening, Everyone was talking about quality, about guest satisfaction, and that at the end of the day, we all survive after receiving the guest satisfaction, returning guests to our hotels, and basically they are the most severe critics that we have. Where does the loyalty program comes into this? So what we have now is very simple. One, we spend the first 10 years of our life focusing on quality. The sixth message from the board of directors is we are not going to have any loyalty program until we are absolutely sure that we have the quality in our hotels to the acceptable level. And it's only after that we made sure and we have received all the comments and the feedback from customers that we have decided to go ahead and have a loyalty program. We have, the, we have a loyalty program now. It has been running for a year. And for those of you who were at the Business Traveler Awards, you might have seen that we have been voted the third runner-up after a year. So we are very proud of this. However, we never forget the basics of the program. We have to remain close to our customers. We have to listen to what our customers want. We have all the time to interact with our customers. Unless we have a program that is successful, that keeps us very, very, very close to the customers. Today, most of the loyalty programs that you have in our industry, they all look the same. You stay, you get points, you get points, you get gifts, the more you stay, you start to get updates. Basically, they all look the same. The only difference that we have between loyalty programs is who is close to the customers at the end of the day. And probably this is the message that I want to leave tonight with. Don't try to outsource your loyalty programs. Nobody can take care of your customer better than you, better than yourself. A lot of people have tried it, we have tried it, and we have paid dearly for that. At the end of the day, the most important asset that we have is our customer. How on earth can we give this asset to a third party to manage? No one can take care of your customer better than yourself. Whatever loyalty program, if you cannot handle it yourself, don't do it. It's not nice, it's not interesting to have a very fancy loyalty program if somebody else is going to manage it for you. You will never be able to get the results from it. Please, ladies and gentlemen, in the airline industry, in the hotel industry, whatever program you do, keep it simple. People have to understand it. The more complicated it becomes, the more fancy it becomes, people will not understand it, they will not be interested. It has to be simple, it has to remain basics, and most importantly, you have to manage it. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Best. Golf Club. Well, golf clubs, long aware of the large corporate golf market, are beginning to cater to the ever-growing concept of doing business while on the golf course. You know the old meeting with Mr. Green. Well, many people in business today are fanatical about golf and often use the golf course to entertain people with whom they want to do business. As a result of golf courses throughout the region, continue to see a healthy number of both corporate and leisure golfers on their greens. And the nominees are... And the nominees for the best golf club are... El Kansui Golf Club Tunis. JW Marriott Cairo Egypt. The Montgomery Dubai. Abu Dhabi Golf Club by Sheraton. Jolieville Mozambique Golf and Resort Shamal Sheikh. Elgona Golf Club and Fitness Red Sea.
And the silver award goes to the Montgomery Dubai United Arab Emirates. for this category goes to JW Marriott Cairo Egypt the last winner in this category is the platinum award Julieville move and big golf resort Charmy All right, ladies and gentlemen, our second awards category for tonight is Best Duty Free. While the difficulties over the last few years in the travel industry as a whole has not stopped multinational and regional operators from investing in their airports and shops. Sales across the Middle East region have grown by an astounding 53% from their levels in 1995 and no signs of slowing down. The nominees for this duty free are Muscat duty free, Beirut duty free, Qatar duty free, Bahrain duty free, Dubai duty free, Kuwait duty free. For the silver, we have Beirut duty free. Beirut duty free brings them to the stage. goes to Qatar duty free. Bravo, ladies and gentlemen, the gold, Qatar duty free. The platinum award goes to Bahrain duty free. Ladies and gentlemen, our third category, the best five-star new hotel for the year the Middle East and North Africa is the world's second fastest growing inbound tourism sector according to the World Tourism Organization with 36 million visitors forecast for the region by the year 2010. Now with these impressive statistics comes the need for new hotels to meet this forecasted number of arrivees. New hotels that continue to maintain the superior service standards for which the region has now become renowned for. The nominees for the best five-star new hotel for the year 2005 are Intercontinental City Stars Cairo, Egypt Ever Hotel Luxor, Egypt Grosvenor House, Dubai Danat Resort, Abu Dhabi Baron Palm Resort, Sharm El Sheikh Red Sunset Resort, Cosair Le Meridian, Mecca El Marouz Rotana Hotel and Suites, Dubai Emirates Palace, Abu Dhabi The silver goes to Al Marouj Rutana Hotel Suite. Now the gold goes to Grosvenor House, West Marina Beach, Dubai. The winner of the Platinum Award is Emirates Palace, Abu Dhabi, UAE. Category number four is the best environmental four-star hotel. The need to demonstrate responsibility for environmental issues has never been greater, and the hotel industry undeniably has an influence on the environment and society. Programs that re reduce the impact we all have on our environment entails taking responsibility for environmental and social issues. And the nominees for the best environmental four-star hotel are Howard's Rotana Hotel, Dubai. Solima, Solia, Master Alam, Egypt. Novotel World Trade Center, Dubai. Novan Pick Resort, Il Kassir, Egypt. Golden Tulip Resort, Khasab, Oman. Golden Tulip Resort, Sib, Oman. The silver goes to Golden Tulip Resort, Khasab, Oman. Gold goes to Novotel World Trade Center, Dubai. And the Platinum Award goes
goes to Mervyn Pick Resort, Al Castle, Regatta, Egypt! Our fifth category is Best Middle East and North Africa Airline. While the global airline sector has leveled out following the chain of uh, terrorism around the world and the, to date the war of Iraq, we're seeing significant buoyancy in the Middle East economy. This is reflected in the growth over the recent months as high as 22% in the regional airline sector. And the nominees for the Best Middle East and North Africa Airlines are Royal Jet. Qatar Airways, Egypt Air, Kuwait Airways, Gulf Air, Air Arabia Sharjah. The Silver Award goes to Air Arabia Sharjah. Gold goes to. Kuwait Airways. The platinum goes to Qatar Airways, Doha, Qatar. Okay, our last uh, category for our first segment. Category number six, the best rental car local brand. Well, car rental business in this region has been growing steadily year on year suffering only minor setbacks because of recent global events. This growth can be attributed to the marketing efforts of the car rental companies who appreciate that the Middle East is a particular market with its own specific needs and synergistic requirements. And the nominee for the best car rental local brand are Atalai International Transportation Hanko Rental and Leasing Fast Rental Car UAE Al Muftah Rent a Car Doha, Diamond Lease Dubai, House of Cars Rent a Car Dubai, Elite Rent a Car Bahrain. Okay, and the Silver Award goes to Aitala International Transportation Company, Hanko. award goes to Diamond Lease Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. And the final one in this category is the Platinum, which is being awarded to Al Mufta Rentika, Doha, Qatar. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of the first six awards. And now it is my pleasure to continue our trip around the world with Angelo Bora Group to the land of Sing Sing Sing. We'll be back. I go.
spa. The growth of spas in the Middle East has been phenomenal. Five years ago, there were few spas of any type. But since there has been an explosion with many new facilities, both standalone operations and hotel spas opening in the region. And the nominees for best spa are the Royal Meridian Beach Resort and Spa Dubai, Movenpick Hotel and Resort Beirut, Movenpick Resort and Spa Dead Sea Jordan, and Xana Spa by Banyan Tree Dubai, Solimar Caddy Star Resort and Spa Horgada, La Meridian Abu Dhabi. Ghana Spa Resort, Jordan. Absolima, Makati Star Resort and Spa Magada in Egypt. Congratulations with the Silver Awards. For the gold position, we have a tie. The first gold goes to... Angsana Spa, Dubai Marina. And for our other gold nominee, in joint gold place, it is the Move and Pick Hotel and Resort Beirut in Lebanon. <laughs> 